beer tubers, or should I say bourbon tubers? Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna be continuing on with some of the whiskey blogs that I'm doing. And so as you see in the title up here, I'm actually gonna be blogging about the Maker's Mark. Uh, it's a bourbon, which is a type of American whiskey. And uh, the characteristic of American whiskey is that they use cereal grains. And with bourbon in particular, uh, they use, uh, what was it, like 51% corn. So it's really a uh, corn-based kind of whiskey. And uh, I've, I'm actually not that experienced with bourbon. And just to let some of you guys know that are experienced with whiskey, I'm still new to this, so I may not be precise and, and I, my tongue may not be really sharp with picking out certain notes. So just let you guys know. But this is just a blog I really like to do. I have a lot of interest in whiskey. Um, I'm more of a fan of scotch which in America we call, that's the whiskey that's made in Scotland. But, um, you know, I'm always open to other things. So, yeah, Maker's Mark. Uh, I just learned that Maker's Mark, uh, where they got the name, is during, during way back then, uh, I think probably in America, uh, they, they would have horse races, and whenever you would put a bet, you get your ring, and you set your mark on uh, melted wax, like, like you see here. And so that's where they get their, their name. They wax all their bottles. So here this is already opened. Uh, this is courtesy from my roommate Brian. Thanks man for letting me review this. So let me go ahead and open this up. And let me tell you what I smell so far in this. And like I said, I'm not too experienced with bourbon. So we'll see what I get. I'll have about this much. I have to sing in about a couple days. So I, sh I shouldn't go too crazy. So yeah. The lacing as you see here. It's got fairly nice legs. Uh, let me give this a smell now. Oh, yeah, it's... It definitely has pronounced oak. Uh, some oak. Uh, because of the oak, you get vanilla. And it's quite sweet smelling, too. I guess that makes sense. Bourbons, I think, generally are sweeter than some whiskeys that you would get in Scotland and elsewhere. Yeah, it smells great. Um, so, yeah, why don't I go ahead and dive in? Come pipe. Yeah. Wow, this, this is quite good. <laughs> this is pretty darn well balanced. Man. Yeah, this is really balanced. And what is this? This is a 45% ABV. So that's, what, 90 proof alcohol? Um, oh, and just to let you guys know, this is a uh, whiskey that's straight from Kentucky in uh, America. And uh, I know there's a lot of bourbon that's made in Tennessee, around the south as well, but uh, this is one that's in Kentucky. So, anyways, back to the taste. Uh, this is, this is quite, this is quite good. I'm, I'm already enjoying this. I'm already feeling it too. Yeah, it has a really clean start to it. And then gradually start getting the vanilla, the oak, and definitely the oak at the end cuz I get some of that woody character character uh, at the at the at the end of the flavor and at the back of the tongue. Mm. And you know what? For 45% of the, um, <coughs> I'm not used to, used to having whiskey. <laughs> I haven't been having much. But um, it's actually, the, the alcohol isn't as strong as you would expect something that's over 40%. Because, you know, 40%, that's pretty, pretty much up there. But, yeah, this is, um, it, it actually hides a decent amount of it pretty well. Um... So yeah, this is this is actually really enjoyable, very drinkable, very balanced. Um, so vanilla, oak, caramel. It's it is on the sweeter side, and it's, it's very enjoyable. I, I don't get anything like like uh, peaty, you know, the, this peaty smokiness. I don't get that. Not much citrus. It's definitely uh, the the sweet oak kind of flavor. So, anyways, I think that's that's about it. All I really need to say about this thing. So. Yeah, if, if, you, if you guys like uh, whiskey and you want something that's drinkable, but really just full of flavor, well balanced, doesn't really punch in the mouth, I recommend Maker's Mark. This is quite good. And this is the first time I had this too, and I'm glad it's awesome. 
So anyways, I guess I'll see you guys in another beer blog or another whiskey blog. Come fight.